My first impression on Exergis was not that great. It hits hard, but reloading after every shot is a bore. Tigris Prime was enough of a bore with two shots and that weird duplex fire mode, so Exergis was left to sit in my inventory for a bit. Then one mod changed at all, and it's an unlikely suspect. Adding magazine capacity mod to push Exergis to two shots made it far more comfortable. With a bit of a reload speed from either chilling reload or something else, it's actually pretty good and devastating. That alone made Exergis into one of my favorite shotguns in the game. And since then, my build went through a few iterations. Aside from that extra magazine capacity, things that stayed throughout all iterations are viral and heat damage, slash, making use of weapons very high status chance, and a bit of a reload. So that's the core of the build. Initially, it was chilling reloads for cold, but since Prime Mod was introduced, I just have to use it because big boy damage. Calvinized Savvy works in an amazing way because of two things. One, not all projectiles hit at the same time, meaning that high status chance makes for quite variable damage between each projectile. And for two, because of the double barrel build, your consecutive shot is orders of magnitude stronger. There's viral to escalate damage and a few status effects to add damage via galvanized savvy. With innate radiation alongside three physical damage types, I find this to work so well. Only arguable thing in my build is scattering inferno because I already use blaze that adds heat, but more heat is kind of there to balance out high viral damage, so we get more different procs for galvanized savvy. So in that slot, with Wolframes who can make use of Arcan Avenger and Adarza Kabat, I use Prime Ravage. With Exergis base damage being so high, it's worth it, even with such a low critical multiplier. If you don't have a ribbon for it, I suggest using Toxin instead of it, and using Reload instead of Scattering Inferno, or messing around with Chilling Reload instead of Prime Cold. With Blaze having that 60% extra damage to it, I feel like it's enough to get Primary Deadhead and Galvanize Savvy going. It also adds heat, which is good, so I don't think Prime Point Blank is needed there. It's very much a diminishing return to use it. Another great thing about Exergis is that because of such high base damage, ammo efficiency is great, so I don't even run ammo mutation mods. And it's awesome, considering weapon benefits so much from projectile flight speed mods. Projectiles have tremendous force to them, so you will see some funny ragdolls while playing this. Weapon has small amount of punch through, but it also has an infinite punch through through bodies, making lineups very effective. This is where I usually talk about drawbacks, but with Exergis, I don't feel like there's much to talk about here. Magazine size versus reload speed can be solved with mods, damage is crazy high, Forcing criticals works. Even in range is pretty good for a shotgun. Lots of slash makes it insanely scalable. So much so that all footage you see here is all steel path, apart from Railjack. Even Railjack is a highest tier void storm. With exo enemies being more tanky, it might as well be steel path. I guess the drawback could be that you need to aim as compared to using explosive weapons. All you see is without any damage buffs. Just pure Exergis power, so chances are you can beat what you are seeing here. Especially if you add void damage via Helminth. That's probably the most game breaking way you can buff the damage of this weapon. So with that, I leave you to mess around with making your own version of this build. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.